Hey there, Phil Jones. Now I didn't plan on being here this month, just like I'm sure you and many of your teams didn't plan on being in this situation either. The world has changed around us, and in times of change, I've learned that it is often time to change. Trouble is though, that people don't like change. And I'll prove it to you for a second. Do me a quick favor, fold your arms for me. No, not that way, do it the other way. It's just freaking weird, right? It's like you're being hugged by a stranger and that is one of the simplest of changes I could ask you to make. It's important for you to understand that the conversations that are happening in your business right now need to be different to the conversations that were happening previously. I've learned from training over 2 million people that when you change your words, you can change your world. And my guess is your changing world around you right now needs to change again for the future. What I've been doing is what I've always done. Helping businesses navigate the complex and critical conversations that are showing up in the world. Conversations that would help them gain new clients in a different environment. Conversations that would help them retain the customers that they already have. Conversations that help them lead their teams in times of change. And instead of doing it in front of a live audience, we've been doing it right here in front of a webcam from my little countryside retreat in the United Kingdom. So what I invite you to consider is to whether you, your teams could benefit from an interactive workshop full of implementable, actionable ideas that they can start to use as early as that very moment. And instead of telling you what I think about these sessions, why don't you hear from some other leaders, people just like you, about the results they've been achieving from the time that we've been spending together. Feedback from our group has been that they were able to use the insights and processes that Phil recommended immediately in their conversation with customers. Those conversations had a high impact on our customers during this incredibly difficult time in the market. The easiest way to lead somebody towards the next step is simply this. So the next step is curious questioning mentality that says, let me get to the truth before we bring judge and jury. Because otherwise, all I've got to share is my opinion. I need my opinion applied to their unique circumstances, which means I need to collect certain pieces of evidence. And in any given objection that you're going to receive right now, there's a series of evidence that you collect that proves that that objection is stupid. We are fresh off an interactive workshop with Phil Jones, and I could not be happier with the experience. Phil discussed with my real estate organization exactly how to navigate change, and it was specific and actionable, so much so that one of my agents took what he learned and immediately put it into action. And in doing so, he took a negotiation that was falling apart and brought it back to the closing table. From everyone here at the Woodbeck team, we cannot thank you enough. This workshop was everything we were looking for. Once a month where we were sitting down with our top leaders around the world and he was training them virtually. And the key thing about it was that he was not only training them with the principles and the golden nuggets and the key things that they needed to be doing and working on in order to succeed, but he was doing it in a way where everybody was engaged. It was pretty phenomenal to watch. Phil's lessons and knowledge that he shared with us around selling during this time, around communicating with our customers at this time, how do they stay around? How do we continue to serve them to the best of our ability? How do we share with them our vision and our, and our values with them during this time? Everything he delivered was pure gold. It's been such a relief because he just gives you exactly what to do and can really tailor it to the industry. Like he was knocking examples out of the park. If anyone out there is thinking about bringing Phil in to speak to your company, I could not recommend him more. He was unbelievable.